Hey there, I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and that is a spicy gator bowl. Sort of my rendition of a poke bowl, but this is a gator bowl. And you can't make a gator bowl if you don't have gator meat. Here's how I get gator meat. This is not how I wanted to start the afternoon. The boys got the boat all totally cleaned up, organized. I mean, spit shine. We're backing out of the driveway and my truck dies, which means the truck's got over 500,000 miles on it. It's been a great truck, but I think it's time to get a new one. Luckily, Billy over at uh, Pila Motorsports, I went over there and Kelly Robertson totally hooked it up, got me all the parts. She's like, yeah, you'll need this, 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 and this, and I'll send Billy over. So I was like, you can't get any better than that. place called Slim's Fish Camp down near Belglade, Florida. I got a call two days ago that they've got a big gator, super aggressive gator. And the problem with having an apex predator in the vicinity of kids and tourists is that it doesn't take long before the tourist becomes prey. All right, so we just put the baits out, two baits, and we're sitting here looking at them. Here, give them, don't, don't put any attention on him. We want to make sure he's got it swallowed. Yeah, he's got it hot in my head. How awesome did that work? Here. All right, so the gator just took the bait and um, now we're gonna let him eat it for a little bit. I'm gonna go get the boat and we're gonna come around and see if we can't get him caught. This is one that needed to go and he's about to go. So what we're doing right now, Gator's got the bait and give him drag, let him go. Okay, so now we're gonna get in the boat, try to get on top of him, get a hook or a harpoon dart in him. He's that out over the water. Yeah, now we got a good catch. Do I throw it up? No, 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 neutral, neutral, neutral. Just stay neutral. Hold your rod, hold your rod out here. Hold it out off the edge. Go very light drag on him. He's right under us here. Oh, you don't like that. Okay, hold on. I'm shaking, man. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shoot him right in the tail if you can, right? You got it, you got it. Hot dang, hot dang, that's what we wanted. Now, that's what we want. Just make sure, pull on this a little bit. See, okay, just set your, bow, set your bow down. All right, so I'm using a Colt 45 in a Gator Pro bang stick. This is how you have to dispatch alligators in the state of Florida. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Right here behind his head here. Right there, right. He really didn't like that one. That was what you needed to do right there. There you go, brother. <laughs> oh, that means you got him right. Okay, now take, grab his, grab his, reach over and grab his, no, other side. Grab the outside leg, roll him. Now twist him. Twist him. Roll him in the boat. There you go. The alligator. Congratulations, Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big, dangerous alligator living right here around people. He's already caught a dog after the cats, and you know, tourist season is right around the corner. Gator like that's not scared. He's very smart. He's an apex predator, and we had to take him out. Now we're gonna go back to camp, get him cooled down, clean him up, and we're eating gator meat for dinner. Love y'all.
All right, so we got our alligator, we processed our alligator, and now we have alligator meat. Well, right now, Sarah and Aria and Emma are up in Wisconsin hanging out with Sarah's parents, so I'm home alone. What do I do when I'm home alone? I come up with crazy ideas and make fun food, and I've got some fun food today. Got some bacon, diced up, and I'm gonna throw it in this pot. That bacon will be the base flavor of my rice. And again, I've never done this before. If you were to ask a million people their favorite food or their favorite flavor, bacon and garlic would probably be the leaders. So let's combine them. Oh my goodness. It already smells amazing. So that's some alligator tail. Nothing special. That's actually the wrap of the tail. Right in here is where the tenderloin lies. And I don't need to cook all this. So I need about, I would say I need about that much right there. The rest I can put back in the fridge. So there's our meat. That, you can see that fat, alligator fat is not like beef fat. Beef fat is good. It tastes good. I mean, it's the marbling and that's what you want. That's what you need to make your, your steak taste good. Well, alligator fat or reptile fat is not good. It tastes like the mud in which they live. So it's very imperative that you trim it off. Now we're gonna take our gator tail and we'll just sort of cut it into nice little slices. Just like that. Hashtag just like that. Look at that. Beautiful white gator tail. Now we have our bacon rendered down. As you can see, there's some fat, love and goodness. Now, we're gonna take one cup of original Uncle Ben's white rice, put it in there and just stir it. Let the butter or let the bacon and the garlic and the oil infuse into the rice, just like that. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can see how the rice actually takes on and is like coated with the bacon and the garlic. Now we're gonna take two and a quarter cups of broth. Just like that. Stir it around. I will add a little bit of salt. So I'll cover it, let it simmer for about the next 15, 20 minutes, and we're good to go. Now let's start making our alligator. I got some butter, that sweet cream butter. I was thinking of what oil I wanted to use. That's, that's gonna be it. Now let's get a spoon. And remember, I'm filming this all by myself. So here's uh, a portobello mushroom. I'm gonna scrape out the gills. I like my portobellos to be nice and hearty. I don't want them sliced up real thin because they have such a wonderful flavor. Here's some onion. Take some yellow pepper. I'll take one piece of this just to get some red. Got our butter rocking and rolling. Let's get started. Here's our alligator. Go ahead and put it in there. Throw our mushrooms in there. Put our garlic in there. Then I will use a good thing I've got some extra because I knew I was out. 
original Everglades. When I'm trying something new, that's like my go-to spice. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. Can you see that? Let that start to fall in love. And I wasn't gonna do this, but I guess I will. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw our onions, our peppers, I'm gonna throw it all in there. Just like that. Now I'm gonna start cleaning up. The wonderful thing about Sarah, she's an amazing wife, she's an amazing mom, and she's an amazing cleaner. Like whenever I'm cooking in the kitchen, she's like, She's incredible how, how fast and how helpful she is. So babe, I know you're up in Wisconsin and I want you to know that I love you very much. And I miss Aria and Emma, and Emma so much, it's not even funny. See y'all soon. Now I'll take a scallion and an avocado. Cut off this little wilted green in there and we'll just sesame seed in there. So there's all of our love and goodness right there. There's our bacon flavored rice. And we're just gonna add however much I think we need. I don't wanna have too much rice. so very much for my wonderful family and thank you for all my many opportunities and blessings Lord thank you for this food and thank you for helping me catch that alligator Lord please nourish it to my body and forgive me of my sins in Jesus name amen all right y'all many ask why I say the blessing I say the blessing because I'm thankful not as some kind of show but I'm thankful genuinely thankful for this food and I'm thankful for each one of y'all now let's see how it tastes. Mm. Right off the bat, the rice stands out as a wonderful flavor. A little bit of alligator meat right here. Tender, mm, wonderful flavor. That's why I like making the avocado in the larger chunks because Mm, you actually get that big fresh chunk of avocado that you can enjoy. If everything is so finely diced, it sort of all becomes one. I want to make food so that each bite, you chew into each flavor and it, it comes to life in your mouth. Mm. The sesame seed, you can taste the sesame seed in there. And then you have the, the, the spice of the sriracha. Mm. 
Are you kidding me? Just let me know what you think if you would. You know, this is deer season. This is, you know, hunting season for many people. So share some of my videos with some of your friends and some of your social media. And Tebow's just jumping up here. Who wants to say hey? Tebow's been sitting in here with Marlon watching me make the whole video. And he really wants a bowl of that, of that gator meat. But uh, I love all you guys. I miss my family. And I'm going to edit. So have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow.